Today we ask the age-old question. Will it ravioli? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We're about to explore some variations on everyone's favorite stuffed pasta, but first, this portion of today's episode is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. All right, with the holidays in our a rear view mirror, I'm ready to rein in my spending a bit. Okay, yeah. And save some money, you know me, I like to do that. Mm -hmm. That's where HelloFresh comes in clutch. It's cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. Now, I know we're all in super ambitious New Year's resolution mode right now, but just getting a home cooked meal on the table every day is an accomplishment worth celebrating in itself. So why not take the decision making out of the picture and let HelloFresh save you some time? Yeah. HelloFresh saves you valuable time by bringing pre-portioned ingredients straight to your door. So all that time you would have spent prepping and all that grocery store time can go straight to conquering your resolutions. You know, speaking of that, this year my family and I are putting the focus on spending more quality time together, Link. That's sweet. And cooking and enjoying these HelloFresh meals as a family is one of the ways we're gonna be doing that. That is such a sweet thing to visualize. Also, <laughs> visualize this. Oh, I'm gonna do more than visualize this it. This sweet chili and pork cabbage stir fry that, did you make this with your family? Mmm, yep. No, I didn't make this one with my family. I believe the Mythical Kitchen made it, but it's just as good as it would have been if I made it because they take care of it for you. And that is really, really good. So, treat yourself in 2023 to the gift of save time and money with meals made of fresh farm to table ingredients. Fresh farm to table ingredients. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code GMM18 for 18 free meals plus free shipping. Once again, that's HelloFresh.com and code GMM18 for 18 free meals plus free Shipping. And thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this portion of today's episode. Free! Now, you like how I say free? free. I know I love ravioli. I, I you think do. you love ravioli because it is the perfect meal. Is it? Yeah, I believe it is. Uh, okay, well it's, it's meat or cheese yeah. wrapped in a delicious pasta dough. You could be right. The perfect meal. But you know us here at GMM, if it ain't broke, we still gonna try to fix it. Ravioli, your world is about to get out of control -y. It's time for Will It Ravioli? First up, we're taking an iconic American sandwich with a Russian dressing and turning it into a classic Italian dinner. Introducing Rubellius Ravioli. Ooh. From a Reuben sandwich, y'all. Josh, what did you do? All right, so we've made a rye and caraway pasta dough. Caraway is the main flavor you associate with rye. We filled that with Swiss cheese, pastrami, and sauerkraut, and then topped it with Russian dressing and pickles. Stuck it with a toothpick, deli style. You telling me that a Reuben is an American thing? A I, Reuben, I believe, was invented I in Nebraska, somewhere in the Midwest, yeah. You just broke the toothpick. Oh, Josh, what do you do? What do I do? It's, uh, go, go hands, go hands. Just use a fork, It's a maybe? sandwich. Oh, look at that. Now, so, is the proper uh, ravioli eating technique to just take the whole square into your mouth? Uh, yeah, I, I always take the whole thing into my mouth. That's a big square, dude. Thank you. And what, what tell me the, the meat of it? Uh, so it is uh, pastrami. Of course. Uh, that we braised and then smoked and then chopped down. Oh gracious. You did <laughs> yeah, all that. Did. Yeah, we sure did. You braised it and smoked it and chopped it down? Yeah, we did all three of those verbs. All you had to do was buy pastrami, but they don't do that. Dang, Josh, that is good! <laughs> yes. Ravioli, ravioli, give mom, me mom, the mom, form mom, you owe <laughs> That's. I want you to give me the recipe. Oh, we can yeah, we can do that on Mythical Kitchen. We this is the time where I plug Mythical. We make some of the foods from here, and this <laughs> this is really good. And so we can wow. just we can do that. Oh, just something just got into me. This is orderable, menu orderable. I'm not trust me. If there's ravioli on the menu, my kids will order it, which is why I never order it because I always get to eat what they don't. Oh, okay, you're one of those. You're a dad tax guy. Reuben sandwich. Will it ravioli? Yes. yes! So a banana split is probably the most cumbersome of ice cream desserts to eat, but no longer bring in the ravioli split. We got it in a, a banana split boat. I can see that there is a banana underneath there. Is that Neapolitan that is ravioli, Josh? That sure is Neapolitan ravioli. Good. Look, at, Look that. at that. <laughs> Look at that. 
Look at that guy. And what's inside Can you of see this? that anywhere else on the <laughs> internet today? No, you can't. No. Nope. So we've alternated a vanilla chocolate and strawberry ricotta filling in all of those. Obviously set atop a banana with maraschino cherry, whipped cream, chocolate. Oh, and nuts of the pea variety. So you get a, you actually get a little bit of the banana. Mm. A little bit of that. I just wanted to isolate this filling experience. Melted ice cream and ricotta. Mm. Boy, that's a good thing. Josh, this is... Um, I like this as a meal. You've done it again. <laughs> this is a healthy meal. This puts dessert right where it should be, at the center. It's awesome. Banana split, will it ravioli? Yes! yes. Chips and guac, it's a great way to kick off a Mexican food dinner, but what if you have some Italian relatives okay. who wanna dip their little Italian toe into Mexican food, but they don't wanna fully commit. Common scenario. Well, we wanted to create something for them in, in the world of ravioli, the guacamole-olis. guacamole Guacamole-olis. You did guacamole and ravioli, both in and only, so if you wanna put them together, it's guacamole -olis. So I see guacamole on the side, but there's also guacamole on the inside, right? Very astute observation, Link, you're correct. Uh huh. So, how'd you do this? This scenario, though, for when you have some, an Italian relative uh -huh. uh, who's interested in Mexican food, yeah. but not that interested in Mexican food. Sure. Maybe, like, I don't know what I think about it, let me just try it. You, this, this is the specific scenario that this is created for? That's what you had in mind? Yeah, no, that's correct. There is no other application for this dish. Is other there? Than is there? Is that like a life situation that you're facing right now? Constantly, yeah. almost every week, I encounter another Mexican food hesitant Italian relative, despite being zero percent Italian, right? Are yeah. Are are these fried and then injected with guacamole, <laughs> or vice no, versa? They're stuffed with guacamole and then they're coated in tortilla chips and fried. And I will say these are very similar to a St. Louis native dish called toasted ravioli, and that is the only good thing that St. Louis has ever done for the world, and I refuse to apologize to their city. The arch Ooh. is stupid. What, wow. <laughs> what? Hold on, we got, listen, oh. we got, there's me and you, Link not so much, but me and you have a lot of beefs with a lot of cities. Yeah. And you just added St. Louis to the mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that arch is dumb, I've been in it. Right? That's what I'm saying. I mean, Everyone really was thinking an, it. Everyone yeah. was thinking it. What, what is in yeah. their uh, ravioli? Cheese? Uh, it's like normal meat or cheese, but then they cover it in breadcrumbs and fry it, and they call it toasted ravioli. The guacamole is really hot inside of this thing, and the, the chip crusted pasta does not work for me either. What? This, this, this ain't good. This is like the St. Louis Arch? It, yeah, the problem here, you, you keep dipping it. You shouldn't do that. Well, it's there to no, be No, don't, 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 don't do that. See, that this is kind of admitting defeat. It's inside of it. I want guacamole on the inside and the outside. I mean, it's hot guacamole, I, not I, a good thing. Here's the thing. It I, doesn't taste good. I disagree with you, I like Eat it. Eat it without but, dipping it. But you're such a guacamole guy that, you know, this guacamole is kind of your thing. You got a green shirt on today. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're hiding guacamole in that sling. Um, so I, I wanted I'll, I'll to love it. You, I'll let you make the call on this. It's 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 dry and it requires more guacamole, which is, by definition, defeat. Okay. Chips and guac. Will it ravioli? No. You know what I've always said. Ravioli's biggest shortcoming is that, unlike saltwater taffy, you can't really eat it while going down the boardwalk. You've heard me say that. You always times. say it. Well, can that be changed? Bring out the raviolis of the sea. Raviolis of the sea. Wow, so we've got them packaged like taffy. This is a pretty one. We don't eat the paper, right, Josh? Do, do not eat the paper, please. <laughs> and I mean, what's on the inside of this? Uh, Saltwater taffy, if we're being honest but, about it. What's on the outside? Ravioli, mostly. Uh, oh. We made a removed ravioli dough to look like saltwater taffy. We stuffed it with its corresponding flavors of saltwater taffy, and we boiled it in extra salt water to make extra salty saltwater taffy salt water. Look at that. Did you do any, like, machine stretching of the dough out like right on the inside of like a the window. Glass. Oh, that's a great part of the you're walking down the boardwalk. Yeah, we parked Trevor on the street and just had him stretching the pasta dough by hand for a long time. Hmm. He got real sunburnt. It's a mesmerizing thing watching that taffy thing go. Um, this is pretty good. The need to chew much more than you would normal ravioli. Slows you down a little bit. I think grandpas everywhere would love this. Mm. Mm, man. Grandma keep three of these in her purse. Chew on this, Grandpa. 
I like it as well. This saltwater is, taffy. This is this, 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 this. saltwater taffy. <laughs> Will it ravioli? Yes. yes. Okay, coming all the way from Japan, we're taking the traditional fermented soybean dish called natto, mm -hmm. and we're stuffing it in raviolis. Yes, we are. Uh, this is an acquired taste, so let's see if we can acquire the taste of ravioli. I'm afraid natto. <laughs> It might be an acquired smell because I could smell it when the moment they set it on the edge of the desk. I, well, I'm not smelling it yet. Oh, get close to it and take it in. <sighs> oh my gosh. This is, what's it like? Foot? Funk, it is, is it? so funky. Like that is, that is the smell of funk. I mean like funkadelic kind of situation. It's like so, you just there's imagine. a, imagine. There's a footness to it, but there's yeah. also a like a sour, Vomitness to it. It's, it's like, like you socks. vomited in a funky sh shoe. It's like socks that you wear to the gym, but you just keep putting them back in your bag and you keep wearing them just to the gym every uh, time you work out. You do that? No, but I'm just saying if I were to do that, that's what it would smell like. Why do they stink? Natto? Okay, so that's just Natto. the bacteria doing its work in the fermentation. Um, that's actually what's gonna create that umami flavor that people really love about natto. The signature thing though is the texture. It's got this very stringy, texture to it. Um, I've had natto in many different forms, many different contexts. It is not my personal favorite. Oh, it um, is. However, might be good in ravioli. <laughs> <laughs> now what's the sauce though? Uh, so that is natto blended with stinky tofu and then some fresh natto on top. Oh, so you added stinky tofu too. Just a little. <laughs> okay, you know what I was saying a second ago about how you should always just eat the whole thing? Uh, that, uh, that doesn't apply to this. Um, that's a dry one, man. You need to sop that puppy up. That You think that's dry? It's about to fall. It's got so much wet. It's about to fall. Look at that. <clears throat> that's wet, man. How do you think about this to get all of the thoughts that we've already thought out of our heads? I think it smells way worse than it tastes. It's one of those things. It's probably like that. Uh, it's sort of, you know, what is the fruit? The durian is the same way. And then there's the cheese that smells like feet. Can you hold my nose while Lindberger. I eat it? Let's see if there is a limit for me and beans. It tastes just as bad as it smells. You know what, it, it tastes like the worst breath you could ever smell from like a, from like. Like an old guy. Some, some old dude. Like an old man on a pier. Who hasn't. And you yeah. thought that you were smelling like the woman that was cutting up the fish guts and then you just saw him going, Hey, come and here, really, boy. Oh gosh. Let me talk to you a little bit. I haven't, I haven't opened my mouth and talked to anybody in seven hours. You know how when you don't open your mouth and talk to people for seven hours and then you open your mouth and it's like, Nato. Oh. I was starting to be able to enjoy this. Until you talked about that old man's mouth, man. Hey, boy, come here, boy. Let me let me see you. Sometimes you'll go to a. I mean, has this ever happened to you? You go to a restaurant. Let me give you some life advice. And there's somebody at a table, like a table or two away, and they've got that very specific halitosis. Mm. And they're like on a date with their longtime partner, <laughs> who has to deal with it. It was grown. Did you swallow it? Yes. Who has just grown it's a still in your mouth? It? Yeah, I'm telling a story. Dude, I have to go to the I have to go to the doctor after this. I'm gonna be talking to a doctor. Oh, Nato's really healthy. You're gonna be great, healthier yeah. than ever, in fact. Hey, my what, doctor's gonna be like, "What you hey, been doc? What's my X-ray looking like?" <sighs> He's like, "Oh, it's fine. Get get out of here." I could see how someone, maybe even me, like two years from now, could like that if I had it like every week. We got more in the kitchen, man. Take some home. No thanks. It's. It's so organically disturbing. I'll tell you what you should do, Josh. Take this, box it up, send it to St. Louis. <laughs> not a Willy Ravioli? No! Not at all, not to. Uh, thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Caleb and I'm from Raleigh and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Petting that chicken in Raleigh. That got weird at the end. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us rank the most embarrassing restaurant stories ever in Good Mythical More. From crew members and to find out where the will of mythicality is gonna land. It's hip to be square or triangular. Shop the new GMM metric logo collection at mythical.com.